Welcome to Unisys Clear Path Visual IDE 2.0 MCP Key Features Demo. These are the features of Clear Path Visual IDE 1.2. You can access the demo by visiting the following URL. In this demo, you will be introduced to the new MCP features of Unisys Clear Path Visual IDE 2.0. More languages supported for MCP. Unisys Clear Path Visual IDE 2.0 now supports Wufl and Dastl languages, as well as Seq data and text data file formats. Syntax highlighting. Clear Path Visual IDE now supports syntax highlighting for Wufl and Dastl files. Clear Path Visual IDE provides support for highlighting comments, keywords, and literal strings using the Visual Studio fonts and colors. Let's understand the syntax highlighting feature. When you open a supported source file, comments, keywords, and literal strings are highlighted using Visual Studio fonts and colors. As you edit a file, the colors and fonts change automatically. Keywords are highlighted even if the keywords are not used in the context of a keyword, except in comments and literal strings. If the keyword is a part of a comment or literal string, then it appears with the same font and color as the comment or string in which it is present and not as a keyword. For a DOSTL file, when you start entering a valid string in the code editor, it may not be highlighted as you type but gets highlighted based on the DOSTL keywords present before or after the valid string, and is highlighted as a comment or string literal. Comments entered within double quotation marks are context dependent and may not be highlighted immediately as you type in the code editor. For example, this is a comment 1. Is highlighted as a comment based on the Dastl keyword, data set, present before the string. And this is a comment 2. Is highlighted as a comment based on the Dastl keyword, real. Which is present after the string. Displaying Mark ID Clear Path Visual IDE allows you to view the Mark ID information for a particular line. When you click or move the carrot on a line in the editor, the Mark ID information for it is displayed on the status bar. Note, there will be no Mark ID information available for new or modified lines until you save the file. You can choose to create a Seq data file with Mark ID or without Mark ID information. Wufl language files do not contain any Mark ID information. Specifying Mark ID Clear Path Visual IDE allows you to specify the Mark ID to be used for all new or modified lines. The Mark ID information for these lines will be written to the file when you save the file. Let's see how to specify the mark ID that will be used when saving a file. On the Tools menu, click Options. Expand the Unisys Clear Path Visual ID node, expand MCP, and then click MCP Mark ID. In the MCP Mark ID box, enter the mark ID value. You can either select or clear the Warn Me When Mark ID will be truncated checkbox. Click OK. The mark ID information will be written to new and modified lines when you save MCP files. Intelligent COBOL tabbing For MCP language files, pressing the tab key either adds the required number of spaces to move to the next indent position based on the Visual Studio tab settings, or moves the caret to the beginning of the next COBOL section. When the caret is at the end of the last COBOL section, Pressing the tab key moves the caret to the start of the next line. To set the Visual Studio tab settings, click the Tools menu, select Options. Under Text Editor expand all languages, and then select Tabs. Run Custom Build Scripts. Unisys Clear Path Visual IDE enables you to run custom build scripts for an MCP project. Let's see how to run a custom build script. In the Solution Explorer window, select the project for which you want to run custom build script. Right click the project and click Properties. The property page appears. To view the build page, select the Build tab. 
In the Build page, select the Custom Build option. In the Wooful Job file box, specify the location of a Wooful file. You can either type the path or click Browse to locate and select the path. To specify the location of a Wooful file under your user code, you can either type the My User Code tag in place of your user code as part of the path in the Wooful Job file box, or select the tag if you are in the Browse dialog box. In the Browse dialog box, the content available under your user code appear under My User Code for you to select the required path. In the Parameters box, specify values for the parameters. When using a custom build, you do also need to use the custom run. Custom run. Select the project, right click and select properties. Click debug. In the debug property page, if you want to run an output file for the project, then under start action, select the start project option. By default this option is selected which indicates that the project will be started when you start the debug session. If you want to run a binary file that is different from the project output, or need to specify which binary to run for a custom build or DOSTL build, then select Start External Program and click Browse to select the file for debugging. The Start External Program option allows you to specify the binary file you want to run. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of features in Clear Path Visual IDE to enrich the value of your IDE requirements. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information or visit unisys.com.